Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Exile Club and welcome to today's video, another DAX video. What we're going to look at in this video is creating a calculated column that classifies items that can be used as a filter or a slicer. Now to create this classification we need to use the if statement, we need to use the or statement, we need to use the and statement and we can use the in statement. Now this video is based on an activity that I set for you last week. So if you watched the video last week, you will be fully aware of the activity. If not, I will put a link below the post so you can hop over to the website and you can download the workbook and you can practice along. But the activity was to set up some classifications. We wanted to classify our sales based on whether they are large shipments or standard shipments. And we had a number of classifications to work off. So the classifications included if there was sales of scooters of greater than 45 units, it would be a large shipment. If there was sales of dolls houses or skateboards and the order was over 25, it would be a large shipment. And if the order is of bikes and is of greater than 20 units, it's also going to be a large shipment. In addition to this, then anything else is going to be classified as a standard or a small shipment. So we have quite a lot of ands and ors going on in that. So what we're going to do now is hop over to our model and we're going to take a look at how we can classify our sales using the ifs and the ors and the and statements. But before we do get stuck into this video, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. And please do share this video across your social profiles. So let's hop over now and take a look. So the criteria we're given for our large shipments were any orders of scooters that were over 45 units, any orders of dolls, houses or skateboards that are greater than 25 units, and any orders of bikes that are greater than 20 units are going to be large shipments and all other orders are going to be small shipments. And I asked you to use the least amount of code as you possibly can in this example. I wonder how you all get on, but I'm going to show you my solution to this now. So I started a new calculated column and a new calculated column I've named as classification. And I'm going to start this with an if statement because the if statement allows you to replace the trues and the falses with the true result that you want or the false result that you want. So our first logical test in this case, well, our first logical test is to see if our sales unit sold is greater than 45. So that's our first part of the logical test. But we need to make sure that the sales products in this case is a bike. So I'm going to say in and in my curly brackets, put in our bike. Oh no, put in scooter, sorry, my mistake. So it's our scooters. So any orders of greater than 45 that are scooters are going to be a large shipment. Now we have another criteria too, another condition too, and we want to see if our products of either dolls, houses or skateboards are greater than our units sold of 45 or of 25. We need to add in our first of all or statement which is our double pipe and then we can add in our sales and we want to take our unit sold is greater than 25. Then we want to add on to this because not only does it have to be greater than 25 but our sales products also needs to include either doll's house Or it all could be a skateboard. And we can close our in statement then with our curly brackets. Now, if you're confused about the syntax that I'm using, the and or the or and the in statement, do go back over the previous video. Now, we still have a, another condition. And this condition is if our sales 
units. So we need to add in another or, and we need to put in if our sales units, and in this case is greater than 20, and we move down to the next row and our sales products equals to, or is in, and our curly bracket, bike, and close that with a curly bracket. Now we can put in, and I've hit enter there instead of control and enter. Now we can put in our value if true, and we can put in our value if false. So before we finish our if statement, we will put in our comma to end the if statement. So we then move on to our value if true, which is going to be large shipment. And our value if false is going to be standard shipment. And we can close our bracket for the if statement and hit enter. And we can see now we have created a classification for our large shipments and for our standard shipments. So we have used the ampersand, we have used the or pipe symbol, and we've combined these with the if statement, and we've also used the in. If you got a different solution to this, and there are other solutions by using the ands and the ors and different ways of thinking about your logic, please do post a comment and let us know.